what's happening guys first of all before we get started I have to say thank you to each and every one of you whether you've been liking the videos or disliking the videos whatever you've done it's worked yesterday I hit 3,000 subscribers not even a year into this channel we're about 10 months into this channel and 3,000 subscribers so you know what give yourselves a thumbs up thank you so much everybody and now on with the show so for today we got something uh, new and cool this is the latest ESP 32 module from our friends at Banggood uh, here is the ordering information if you're interested and what we have here is the Wemos TT Go 32. Now it uses um, the WROOM 32 module, which is an excellent module. Of course, all of the pins are PWM capable. There are 10 touch pins. And what's really nice about this module, the, uh, I think so, in my opinion, is all of the IOs are labeled to the IO pins of the ESP32 so there's no guessing no trying to figure out what GPIO 13 from the ESP32 is coming out to this board because you know they're just labeled that way so that's pretty cool let's take a look at this on Banggood's web page okay here is the item on Banggood's website this is the Wemos TTGO ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth board 4 megabyte flash UNO D1R32. And it is gone up in price to $10.22. Uh, for those of you north of the border, 1310 Canadian and you Brits eight pounds 15 um, right here in their product details is a link where you can get some information and it is basically just information about the ESP32 chip not about uh, this particular board so I will post a link to this down below okay so first of all um, in order to use this with the Arduino IDE environment you do need to install the ESP32 core I've covered that in an early video an earlier video which I will link to down below if you haven't done that secondly um, when you choose this in the boards manager you're going to choose ESP32 dev module there's no particular listing for the um, TT go now this has everything your standard ESP32 has, the touch pins, all pins, PWM, two uh, I squared C, two DACs. In fact, the uh, two DACs on here are um, on GPIO 14 and 15, and one of your I squared C's is on 31 and 32. Now the, the numbering for the touch pins is a little bit more esoteric, shall we say? For instance, T0, touch 0 is on pin 24, touch 1 is on 23. Makes sense, right? Well, T2 is 12, T3 is 13. Then T4 is, is 20, T5 is 18, T6 is 17, T7 is 16, then T8 is 13, and T9 is 12. So they kind of do go all over the place. Now, if we look here, you can see we can solder in some extra headers for another um, UART and the SPI pins are labeled here very well our digital pins are labeled down here and this analog section over here is labeled keep in mind the Arduino IDE can still at this time only handle the um, one analog pin now another nice feature of this board besides it being the exact size of an Arduino Uno is that it is using a micro 
USB, which in my opinion is pretty sweet. I'm tired of the big old thunky, you know, USB-A type connectors. And so if we look here, you can see those analog pins labeled, even though they are not all analog, you can see some are digital. Here we have our power section, and then we have a header where you can solder in some extra pins there. Again, another header where you can solder in some extra pins here. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, SDA and SCL are up here. It uses the CH340 uh, chip. It has one reset button as opposed to some of the other ones which have two. And there is nothing on the back of it. Nice black solder mask. And we'll put this guy down here. And focus. There we are. And if I plug it in, you can see it instantly starts running my modified blink sketch, which blinks three times and then pauses for a second. There is the built-in LED. And on this particular board, that built-in LED is on pin two. So you can just uh, send your digital highs and lows to pin two, and you'll be good to go. So that's it for this, the Wemos D1R32. Actually, it's called the Wemos TTGO32. And uh, yeah, thank our friends at Banggood for sending this for our consideration. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for helping to grow this channel and us having a pretty cool little community here. So thank you all. I'm out. Peace.